Ah, football, a game of goals, trolls and calls, a game of simplicity that has captured the hearts of many the world over. But not all in football has been easy to follow in recent weeks. Oh. Hello friends, I'm Gregor Barnsdale and today I'm... We're... Going to make the European Super League as simple as the beautiful game itself. So sit back, relax and reminisce about simpler times. For those that don't know, football is a sport. And the European Super League is an idea? Dial it back, you wee plank. Okay, okay. Football is adored by many folk because it's got one simple objective. Put a spherical object into the other team's net more times than they put it into yours and bish, bash, bosh, easy as haggis pie with tatties. It's so simple that anyone can have a go. The city is still alive here. Balotelli, Agu Barnsdale. Football's simplicity represents a rare quality that's hard to find but far from being new. Hope. Hope that any team can win if they're better at handling balls on the night. Handle enough balls well and you might even get to play in the UEFA Champions League. Or even for your country. It's all possible in the game of pyramids where the top teams rise above the rest only to be humbled by the pluckiest of opponents. Aye, it's a simple game for simple pleasure. Hmm, pleasure. Where goals mean prizes and that's the end of it, right? Wrong. You see, football is not only a, a simple sport, it's also a... Profitable. Sport. Profitable. Do enough to pull in more fans than any other. Upward of four billion, in fact. And the more fans you broadcast to, the more opportunity you have to make money. Oh yes, a beautiful British pen. Sterling. Not Sterling, but Sterling. Quite right. Football clubs, like any other brand, crave the moolah, be it GBP, dollarinos, or Euro millions. It's simple, and it brings us back to the ESL. Sorry, not that one. <laughs> the European Super League. Sadly, the proposed league is not Europe's answer to the Avengers, nor is it the EU 2.0. Simply put, the ESL is a semi-exclusive get-rich-quick scheme that all but guarantees the big bucks for some of Europe's most well-known clubs. Take this example. Under the Super League's plans, the already loaded elite clubs such as Man United, Man City, Liverpool and Real Madrid were set to share 3.5 billion euros to counter the Covid pandemic and to fund infrastructure investments, all whilst leaving the, the rest of the 1,000 clubs in Europe in the dirt. Who doesn't want a bit of dirt? Precisely. Wait, what? No, no. This kind of dirt is very bad indeed. The Covid pandemic is a global tragedy and in football terms has seen many clubs go through hell to avoid disappearing entirely. It has been a heartache for the sporting world and local communities at risk of losing out and to hear that these big clubs were set to earn big whilst others struggle is simply bristling. To make it worse, the 15 founding clubs that were meant to join, note the English sides have now all sacked it off, stood to 
almost triple their income in some cases. They would have been able to do this all from a contractual safety net that only let five other teams earn the remaining league spots based on their actual sporting achievement. That's already naff, but becomes largely nonsensical when you realise that the chosen founding teams aren't all even Europe's most prolific, with four having never won the Champions League and AC Milan having a turnover similar, if not smaller than, apparently, lowlier sides such as Crystal Palace and Sheffield United. You can thank Sky Sports for that. We. Oui. detail. That's right. What's even... What's even funnier is that all of this came to light a wee... to 24 hours before a Champions League reform discussion was due to take place. How about that for a power play? Needless to say, many a fan and public figure have outright derided the proposed European Super League. It's an absolute disgrace. Cheers, Gaza. With nearly all saying it destroys the ethos of open competition. It's criminal. Indeed. <sighs> Look, I'm We're. not here to judge, merely to make life simple. And I... We got no issue with money or improvement as a basic concept, but don't take the Mickey. Even I, we, a career-long Manchester United fan and ardent simplicity seeker, think a slap on the wrist might not be good enough here. Nothing like a wee bit of slap and tickle. The reaction from the sporting world has been so strong that within two days, the Premier League Sly Six, as they're now known, had all yeeted away from their founder status. To be clear, that's Liverpool, Tottenham, Arsenal, Chelsea, Manchester City and Manchester United. And I... We. Will you pipe? Down. I think that says a lot about these clubs' morals. It also says a lot about the power of the people. Or perhaps the power of the cash in their pockets. Manchester United aren't even in the Champions League. Listen, the final result, if any, once this situation is fully resolved is still a mystery and can only be speculated upon. For now, I, Gregor Barnsdale, plan to sit back, relax with a cup of sturgeon and watch along, remembering all the while that it's not always black and white, but most of it is a load of shit. you. Before you go, if you've enjoyed this rather fresh bit of content, why not like and subscribe? You know how it works. Leave a cheeky comment below and I might even show up in your dreams for a wee flirt. Join our Patreon and I'll say your name out loud all Fancy. Like. Just remember, keep it simple. Keep it Appropriate for children.